general law partners sometimes agree between them that some or all the partners are to receive a salary. They might also agree that the partnership pay interest on partners' capital contribution. If one or more of the partners has lent money to the partnership, they are also likely to agree to pay interest on this loan. How do these affect how the partners are taxed? Alice and Bill start up a partnership. The partnership agreement states that Alice is to receive a salary of $20,000 a year. Alice and Bill are to receive 10% interest on their capital contributions of $100,000 each. Bill is to receive 10% interest on his $50,000 loan to the partnership. Profits are to be split 50-50. In tax terms, both partnership salaries and interest on partner capital contributions do not change the partnership income as stated in the Section 91 Partnership Tax Return. They only change how the partnership profit is allocated under Section 92. In other words, they do not change the size of the partnership cake, but only how the cake is distributed. However, interest on loan made in the partnership is deductible to the partnership and so will make a size of the partnership cake smaller. For the current financial year, before taking into account any payments due to Alice and Bill, the partnership has assessable income of $160,000. The partnership has exempt income of $15,000. The partnership has general deductions of $25,000. The first thing to do is for the partnership under Section 91 to calculate its net income and lodge this information in the partnership tax return. In this scenario, the partnership has assessable income of $160,000. $25,000 in general deductions is then subtracted from this as well as the 10% interest of $5,000 to bill on his loan. Therefore, the total deductions are $30,000. The partnership salaries and interest on capital contributions are not deductions. So the net income of the partnership is $130,000. The exempt income is not assessable and does not affect the net income of the partnership. However, we need to remember that the presence of the exempt income could make the difference if the partnership made a loss. The second step is for Alice and Bill under Section 92 to put their share of the partnership income in their individual tax returns. So the partnership's net income is $130,000 and the non-deductible items of partner salary and interest on capital are distributed from this. This means that Alice receives $20,000 salary and $10,000 interest on capital contribution out of this $130,000 and Bill receives $10,000 interest on capital out of this net income. These payments total $40,000. After paying these, there is $130,000 less $40,000 or $90,000 of profit available, which is then distributed evenly as $45,000 each. This means that Alice's share of the partnership income is $20,000 partnership salary, plus $10,000 interest on capital, plus $45,000 share of the rest of the partnership profits. So under Section 92, this $75,000 is Alice's share of the partnership profit and constitutes Alice's assessable income in her personal tax return. Bill's share is $10,000 interest on capital, plus $45,000 share of the rest of the partnership profit. Therefore, $55,000 constitutes Bill's assessable income in his personal tax return. Bill will also add the $5,000 interest earned on the loan to the partnership to his assessable income, not because of Section 92, but because interest constitutes assessable income irrespective of who the borrower is. Note that the aggregate of the amounts that Alice and Bill put in their individual assessable income under Section 92 is equal to the net income amount in the partnership tax returns under Section 91.